New Horizons Mission HQ scientists have been waiting patiently for this moment for nearly a decade. Within the darkest reaches of our solar system, a mystery shrouded in secrecy has just been unveiled. The mysterious world of Pluto has always been a source of fascination for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. But now, NASA has just declassified never-before-seen photographs of Pluto, revealing mind-boggling secrets. These images, once locked away in the deepest vaults of NASA, have been unleashed upon the world. But are we on the brink of discovering alien life, or is there something even more mysterious lurking in the cold, distant reaches of our solar system? Join us as we embark on an extraordinary journey into the heart of this astronomical revelation. Uncover the secrets Pluto has been hiding for eons and why these images are causing sleepless nights for scientists worldwide. Pluto, once hailed as the ninth member of our solar system's planet club, now holds a unique distinction as the most massive known dwarf planet. It resides in the distant Kuiper Belt, a realm far beyond Neptune's realm of influence, here, Pluto finds its cosmic neighbors amidst an array of icy and rocky companions, even rubbing shoulders with sizable comets, each boasting a diameter greater than 62 miles or 100 kilometers. The year 2006 marked a turning point for Pluto when it faced a cosmic identity crisis. Astronomers and the public alike engaged in heated debates following its reclassification as a dwarf planet. However, Pluto's journey into celestial stardom began in 1905 when American astronomer Percival Lowell first hinted at its existence. Lowell was a keen observer of Uranus and Neptune, noticing oddities in their orbital paths. He theorized that the elusive culprit was an unseen celestial body's gravitational force. Intriguingly, Lowell attempted to predict the hidden planet's whereabouts in 1915, but alas, he did not live to witness its actual discovery in 1930. The credit for Pluto's revelation goes to Clyde Tombaugh, who diligently worked at Lowell Observatory. Tombaugh's discovery was a validation of Lowell's predictions and the theories of other astronomers. Now, the name Pluto itself carries an intriguing backstory. It wasn't coined by scientists, but rather by an imaginative 11-year-old girl named Venetia Burney from Oxford, England. She suggested the moniker to her grandfather, who then passed it on to the Lowell Observatory. The choice of Pluto pays homage to the Roman god of the underworld, Pluto, and remarkably coincides with Percival Lowell's initials. Pluto's frigid surface holds another captivating aspect. It ranks among the coldest places in our solar system, with temperatures plunging to a bone-chilling minus 375 to minus 400 degree F. Images captured by the Hubble Space Telescope have unveiled changes on Pluto's surface, hinting at potential seasonal variations. This remote celestial entity dwells at a staggering distance of 40 astronomical units from our brilliant sun. Its appearance is mysterious, enveloped in darkness, making it nearly impossible to distinguish from the vast cosmic canvas. Pluto embarks on a remarkable journey, tracing an elongated path around the heart of our solar system, completing this celestial circuit every 248 Earth years. Meanwhile, in terms of size, Pluto appears modest, with a radius of merely 1188 kilometers. This diminutive stature sets it apart not only from the grandeur of the planets, but also from some of their moon companions, including our own moon. Precise observations of Pluto's motion have enabled us to accurately determine its mass. Astonishingly, its mass is a mere 1.3 times 10 to the power of 22 kilograms, which is 18 times the mass of our lunar companion. In essence, Pluto bears more resemblance to other petite celestial bodies like Eris, Ceres, or Sedna. This likeness to smaller cosmic entities led to Pluto's classification as a dwarf planet in 2006, a distinction that reflects its unique place within the fabric of our solar system. Pluto's journey through space is like a meandering road trip. In 1989, it made its first close pass by the Sun, getting as near as 29.7 times the Earth-Sun distance like a brief visit to a hot sunny beach. But Pluto keeps moving away from the sun like a car driving farther from its starting point. By 2113, it'll be at its farthest, about 49.3 times the Earth-Sun distance, almost like it's taken a long detour. 
This journey makes Pluto quite elusive, far away from the heart of our solar system, making it a bit like a distant wanderer among the stars. This great expanse is what renders Pluto an elusive and faint cosmic entity beyond the reach of the naked eye. Even when observed through the powerful lens of the Hubble Space Telescope, Pluto appears as a hazy brown disk devoid of any discernible surface features. This inherent challenge has made it exceedingly difficult to conduct thorough studies of this enigmatic celestial body. To overcome this challenge, scientists sent a special spaceship, New Horizons, on a big mission to visit Pluto in 2006. It was a very long and patient journey that took nine and a half years, just like a road trip across the solar system. Along the way, the spaceship took some awesome pictures of Jupiter and sent them back to Earth. Then, in 2015, New Horizons finally reached its main goal, Pluto. It was like reaching a far-off, mysterious land. This allowed us to discover and understand more about this captivating world that had kept its secrets hidden for so long. During its incredible trip past Pluto, the New Horizons spaceship did a lot of work, making more than 400 observations and collecting a whopping 6 gigabytes of really important data. But sending all that valuable information back to Earth was no small feat. It took over a year to get it all here. Think of it like sending a giant digital postcard from a distant place to share all the cool things you've seen with your friends back home. However, it's essential to note that New Horizons didn't enter into an orbit around Pluto. Instead, it executed a flyby, circumnavigating the dwarf planet. This choice allowed the spacecraft to continue its mission, exploring other celestial objects in the vast expanse of space. Before diving into Pluto's surface, scientists were eager to uncover its hidden secrets deep within. Their best guess is that Pluto has a big core, about 1,700 kilometers wide, made up of a mix of icy water and rocks, tucked away beneath its surface. Wrapped around this core is a layer of ice about 300 kilometers thick, and it's probably home to some interesting movements in the planet's crust, kind of like the Earth's tectonic plates. Lastly, on the outermost layer, Pluto sports a crust made from frozen gases, like nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. This multi-layered setup adds to Pluto's mystery and makes it a really exciting place to explore further. It's like a cosmic treasure chest just waiting to reveal its secrets to curious scientists. Pluto, our intriguing dwarf planet, hides secrets beneath its icy cover. Its core may produce enough heat to make part of the icy layer melt. If we dig deep, there could be a surprising find, a salty, toxic ocean filled with dissolved ammonia hiding beneath its surface. Imagine it like a hidden underwater world beneath the icy shell, where strange and mysterious things might be happening. Pluto keeps us guessing, and exploring it further might unveil some incredible surprises. Pluto's surface is like an icy freezer, with temperatures that drop to a bone-chilling 213 degrees Celsius below zero, which is about 60 Kelvin. When we talk about exploring Pluto, one of the first things we notice is the Tombaugh Regio, a massive area that sits near Pluto's equator. It stands out because it looks just like a big heart, earning it the cute nickname, The Heart. This heart-shaped region is huge, covering about 2,300 kilometers, which is a quarter of Pluto's entire surface. It's like finding a giant frozen valentine in the cold depths of space, and it's one of the coolest things about this distant world. Tombaugh Regio, however, is not uniform in its composition. In its western reaches lies the Sputnik Planitia, a smooth and light plane measuring 1,492 kilometers in diameter. When examined through an elevation map, this region reveals itself as a vast lowland expanse, offering a captivating glimpse into the dynamic and diverse landscape of Pluto's frigid terrain. Tombaugh Regio, the fascinating part of Pluto around its middle, is like a mystery wrapped in an icy blanket. On its surface, there's a thick layer of frozen nitrogen mixed with carbon monoxide and solid methane. These icy materials have a special quality, they shine with a bright color, making it look like a magical show. In some spots, this icy layer is so good at reflecting sunlight that it can send back up to 90% of the sunlight it gets. This gives it a kind of otherworldly, almost ghostly glow, like something out of a fairy tale. So when we look at Tombaugh Regio, we're not just seeing plain ice. We're witnessing a shimmering, captivating spectacle that adds to Pluto's enchanting charm. But what truly sets this region apart is its pristine appearance, almost devoid of craters. This signals youthfulness in geological terms, suggesting that it emerged relatively recently. 
The prevailing theory proposes that Sputnik Planitia came into existence around 100 million years ago, born from a cataclysmic collision with a celestial giant. This colossal impact carved a monumental crater, which subsequently became the reservoir for Pluto's hypothetical inner ocean. The ocean's contents promptly congealed, forming the icy plains we now behold. Evidence of this icy transformation is written on the land. Imagine coming across enormous flat areas, each about 20 to 30 kilometers wide. They're like giant icy pancakes with soft bumps and hollows huddled along their edges. This odd design looks a lot like the intricate patterns we see when any liquid gets warm from underneath, kind of like when water boils in a pot. These patterns give us a fascinating peek into Pluto's chilly heart's history. It's as if we're reading a frozen storybook, telling us about the hidden processes that shape this distant world, one icy page at a time. A fascinating clue supporting the idea of Pluto's warm interior lies in Tomba Reggio's peculiar landscape. This remarkable region is encircled by formidable mountain ranges, adding an extra layer of intrigue to its enigmatic charm. To the west of Sputnik Planitia, you'll find the Hillary Montes, mountain ridges that soar to impressive heights of three and a half kilometers. Venturing south, you'll encounter the Townsend Montes, nestled within the heart-shaped expanse. Here, some of these rocky giants stand tall, reaching over six kilometers above the dwarf planet's average surface making them the tallest peaks on Pluto. Surprisingly, these towering formations are believed to consist primarily of water ice, solid as rock in Pluto's bone-chilling temperatures. Further south, a deep basin captures attention, encircled by massive layered ridges of ice and rock. Scientists speculate that this could be the remnants of an ancient cryovolcano, with the surrounding rock representing its numerous frozen eruptions. Unraveling the chemical composition of these rocks is of paramount interest as it may unveil the secrets of Pluto's internal composition, offering valuable insights into the inner workings of this distant celestial body. This quest for knowledge fuels the curiosity of science, driving us to understand the very essence of Pluto's mysterious nature. In the eastern part of Tomba Reggio, things look quite different. It's like a different chapter in Pluto's storybook. Here, the land has a darker color and it seems to hold the secrets of a very long time ago. The surface is covered in lots of craters, like the marks of ancient history, telling us stories from the past. This part of Pluto is quite the opposite of the youthful Sputnik Planitia we talked about earlier. It's like a history lesson frozen in time, showing us that Pluto has gone through many changes over the ages, just like Earth's landscapes have evolved through the years. As you journey eastward along the equator, an intriguing sight unfolds, a series of vast, dark spots, each stretching hundreds of kilometers across. These puzzling formations are aptly named Maculas, drawing inspiration from the dark deities of diverse cultures. Among them, one bears the name Balrog, evoking mythical realms of darkness. These Maculas come together to create a colossal cosmic structure known as the Brass Knuckles, encircling Pluto along its equatorial belt. Intervening high mountain ranges and deep crevices accentuate the macula's contours, with some of these rifts spanning hundreds of kilometers in length. Of all the dark spots, Cthulhu Macula takes the spotlight, stretching westward from Tomba Reggio. It claims the title of Pluto's most significant dark spot, covering nearly 3,000 kilometers. Its surface reflects a mere 30% of the incident sunlight, casting a stark contrast against the brilliant Sputnik Planitia nearby. The true nature of these maculas remains an enigma, shrouded in their inky darkness. It's speculated that their somber complexion arises from a rich concentration of tholins, compounded by a long history of enduring impact crater strikes. This hints at their ancient origin. In addition, the surface of Cthulhu macula is a fabric of diversity, featuring undulating western expanses, a smooth central plain, and an eastern domain adorned with craggy mountains and craters. Pluto's east, a realm of captivating contrast and intrigue continues to beckon exploration and discovery. Our voyage northward takes us to Lowell Reggio, a sprawling valley encompassing Pluto's North Pole. Surprisingly, this area basks in the most abundant sunlight on the dwarf planet's surface. This brightness owes itself to Pluto's unique axial tilt, which causes its North Pole to directly face the Sun during its orbital dance. This positioning has led to a fascinating phenomenon. 
Despite Pluto's increasing distance from the Sun, its atmosphere has remarkably tripled in density over the past three decades. Here's the captivating explanation. The Sun's rays gently coax nitrogen ice to evaporate, and these vaporized particles migrate poleward, enriching Pluto's atmosphere. Going deeper into Pluto's orbital intricacies, we uncover some distinctive traits that set it apart from the other denizens of our solar system. Beyond its noticeable orbital tilt concerning the ecliptic plane, Pluto engages in a perpetual dance, executing cyclic oscillations around a fixed point. This graceful motion is orchestrated by a significant gravitational force, stemming from its sizable moon, Charon. Charon, with a mass of 1.52 times 10 to the power of 21 kilograms, commands more than 11% of Pluto's mass. This lunar companion exerts a profound influence, orchestrating Pluto's intricate orbital performance. Pluto and its loyal companion Charon share a unique cosmic partnership. Their orbits revolve around a common center of mass, a celestial dance orchestrated by the force of gravity that binds them. They're inextricably connected, locked in a gravitational embrace that renders them tidally locked. As a result, Pluto and Charon perpetually present the same faces to each other, a cosmic constant in their shared existence. Yet, while Pluto's surface bears a diverse complexion, Charon exhibits a darker visage adorned with a rich fabric of water ice, interspersed with methane and nitrogen in select regions. This lunar companion, though eclipsed in size by its host planet, holds its unique allure. Among the entourage of Pluto's moons, Charon stands as the largest and most significant. There are others, like Nix and Hydra, discovered in 2005, spanning several tens of kilometers. Then there are Kerberos and Styx, smaller in stature, not exceeding 16 kilometers in diameter. These celestial companions plucked from the distant reaches of the Kuiper Belt predominantly consist of water ice. Together they form a celestial retinue, proof of the intriguing dynamics of Pluto's cosmic neighborhood. Regrettably, not all of Charon's secrets unveiled themselves to the probing eyes of the New Horizons spacecraft, but the visible terrain offers a treasure trove of curiosities. To the south of the celestial equator sprawls the vast expanse known as Vulcan Planum. Though its exact dimensions remain shrouded, it rivals the size of an average European nation, encompassing no less than 400,000 square kilometers. Nestled within this grand tableau rests the highest pinnacle of Karen Kubrick Mons. This imposing mountain spans approximately 40 kilometers in diameter, and some reckon its summit soars to heights of 4,000 meters. Encircling it like a protective rampart, a wide circular moat descends as deep as two kilometers. Speculation abounds that Kubrick Mons may be the remnant of a cryovolcano, its creation linked to the gradual sinking of the terrain under the weight of underground reservoirs. Venturing northward, the landscape transitions into the sprawling Oz Terra, a rugged domain marked by a constellation of craters. Separated from Vulcan Planum by a network of colossal ledges and deep crevices, this dramatic terrain exhibits a total elevation variation of roughly a kilometer. Among these geological wonders, Serenity Chasma commands attention. This immense chasm extends 200 kilometers in length, with a width oscillating between 40 to 50 kilometers. Its depths plummet to a staggering 7 kilometers, a formidable realm shrouded in mystery due to the daunting shadows cast by its steep slopes. Charon's topography unfolds like pages in a cosmic epic, each feature narrating a unique chapter of its history. Further north, near the very pole of Charon, lies the colossal Mordor Macula, stretching its diameter to a vast 475 kilometers. The origins of this ambiguous feature continue to spark debates among scientists. The prevailing theory suggests that nitrogen and methane, escaping Pluto's atmosphere, were ensnared by Charon's gravitational pull, ultimately settling at its poles. Subsequent exposure to ultraviolet radiation led to their transformation into tholins, which gradually accumulated within Charon's icy surface. This intriguing hypothesis awaits validation, promising to be a focal point of future missions. Despite our burgeoning curiosity, Charon remains a celestial riddle, its exploration only just commencing. The Pluto-Charon system, undoubtedly one of the solar system's most captivating formations, beckons further investigation. Regrettably, the New Horizons probe departed this cosmic vicinity some time ago, and the distant duo of Pluto and Charon receded from our grasp, taking their secrets with them. Presently, the probe resides more than 50 astronomical units away from Earth, 
It periodically beams back crucial data, illuminating the depths of space. However, this dance with the cosmos can't persist indefinitely. Around 2030, New Horizons will witness the gradual failure of its systems, ultimately leaving it to journey alone through the frigid expanse of the cosmos. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.